Mass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks back at it this weekend, a final weekend before the winter break. The Riverhawks, ranked seventh in the nation, are 8-5-3, but are looking to end a three-game winless streak. Merrimack College is the opponent this weekend. They're 6-6-3. Six, six, the two teams battled to a pair of 1-1 one, one ties a year ago. It's a home-and-home home series. Saga Center on Friday night, the Lawler Rink on Saturday, and it is not going to be easy. Another team with, within close proximity. They're an excellent hockey team. They're all one-goal games we've played uh, against them here in the recent past. So it's a good rivalry. I think we draw upon a lot of the same uh, similar kids. Uh, they're a very physical team. They're a very big team and they're probably the biggest in hockey. Well, they present unique challenges in the sense that uh, they play a tight defensive system. They play in the smallest ice sheet in Hockey East, uh, something some of our younger guys haven't seen yet. So those are the challenges I think that uh, they present immediately. I think there's certain things you emphasize in a smaller rink. They're not the same dimensions, that I can guarantee. In any event, there's certain things you emphasize in an away rink, in a smaller sheet, um, but overall you, you try to Keep your game similar anywhere you play. The weekend games mark the halfway point in the regular season schedule. They are also the final games before the holiday and final exam break. So these are games that you don't want to leave anything in reserve. Yeah, there's a big emphasis on leaving it out there. You know, you only got two, uh, two hockey games before a long break. And you want to let the, the kids concentrate on academics. So this will be the last hockey they see for, for some time now. So... Uh, there's emphasis on, on leaving it at the rink and uh, putting your best effort forward both nights. The Riverhawks come into this weekend's action after taking only one of four points last weekend against the University of Connecticut. UConn a winner Friday night at the Sanger Center. That was a 3-2 final, a 2-2 battle. A better performance for the Riverhawks on Saturday down in Hartford. But still, just one point on the weekend. I wasn't as disappointed as other people uh, in those two games. I thought, uh, with the exception of the first period on the first night, I thought we played two pretty good hockey games they're a good hockey team and they play a very contained style that makes you play on the outside and their goaltender made some great saves over the course of the weekend and uh, we just couldn't convert we couldn't execute enough times to make him pay at the same time you know that's part of a, a team a great goalie and we certainly had our share of great goalies here so um, you know, sometimes you're going to execute and uh, sometimes you're not. And you got to concentrate on capitalizing as much as you can to make uh, the opposing goalie pay. We should note as well, UMass Lowell senior center iceman Joe Gambardella has 99 points in his UMass Lowell hockey career. His next point will be his 100th. That will put him among a select group. He will become the 23rd in the school's Division I history, the 44th in the program's history to reach that 100-point milestone. He's a rare special player. And uh, we love his will, his determination, his ability to uh, make other people around him better. And the fact that he's, uh, you know, narrowing in on 100 points, that's a bonus. But more importantly, he gives you a whole bunch of other things, intangibles around the locker room that go far beyond 100 points. He's a poster child for little hockey, and we, uh, we love what he brings on a day-to-day -day basis. He's not always flashy, but he's effective. And that's, uh, that's the biggest compliment you can, uh, you can pay a player. UMass Lowell and Merrimack College twice this weekend, Friday night at the Sanga Center. And oh, by the way, River Rocks won't be home again until January 20th. The coach hoping for a lively crowd. Absolutely. We, we love our fans here at the Sanga Arena. We want to get everybody from the Merrimack Valley uh, out to the game. And it's even some Merrimack fans, will, I'm sure, will make that trek. And it's going to be great to see the, the Sanga's full and, and full of energy. <laughs>